Hi, Unity kids and friends. Thanks for joining me. Today, we're not going to read a book. We're going to actually do a craft. So I'm really excited. Um, there are a bunch of these at church, grab and go craft bags. So go ahead and pick yours up. And I'm going to go through and make the craft with you today. So you have kind of a how-to video of what to do when you get your bag. Okay, so I'm just going to show you a picture. I finished one. So this is what it's going to look like. It's a little wreath with a candle and our Advent, um, our words for Advent. So everything you need is pretty much all in the bag. And you'll also need some glue or tape. I'm going to use both because the tape adds a little bit of reinforcement to my glue. But if you just have one, that's fine, glue or tape a pencil and a pair of scissors. And if you want to jazz yours up, as you saw on this one, it was just a plain white wreath. But if you wanna jazz yours up, you can add some color. So if you have marker or crayon, you can go ahead and do that. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is grab your plate. I have two here, so I'm gonna put one to the side. So grab your plate. Grab your scissors. So this will be the time if you want to add some color to your plate, let's say you want to color it green or you want to add polka dots, whatever you want to do, now would be a good time to do that before you cut it. So you can color all around here. I'm just going to leave my white for now in case people choose uh, not to add color. So first thing you want to do is kind of poke a hole in with your scissors and start to cut around. As you cut, you'll notice that it may get a little, may have some fringes sticking up. That's okay, we're gonna tuck that in after. But just kind of cut your circle out of the middle of the plate so that you have what looks like a wreath left over. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. If you have someone at home that can help you, you can ask for help at this time. It is a little bit tricky. So I've got my center out. You see it's a little bit rough around the edges, but you can just kind of take your fingers and tuck those rough edges back in. Okay. And if this would be the, if we still have the bottom, this is the plate sitting up. That's the part that I use to face outward. Okay, so we've got our wreath. We tuck those edges in. Now you should have three gold pipe cleaners. So go ahead and grab those. We're gonna take our pipe cleaners and we're going to wrap them around the wreath. So the way I like to do it is take a little piece, tuck it behind, and then just wrap. And then when I'm done, I'm just gonna tuck that little edge there and then pick up my new piece. Tuck that back there. Okay. And grab one more. And this one, you want to kind of space it out to make sure you can cover your whole reef, all the space that you have left. And the nice thing about pipe cleaners is if you find that you didn't make it all the way around, you can just take them off and try it again. Not a big deal. Okay, so now I've got my wreath wrapped around and we're ready for the next part. Alrighty, so next we can put on our candle. So just like we have our Christ candle lit in church and it reminds us of uh, the reason for the season, that Christ light inside of all of us, that light of God inside of all of us, and it's always burning. We have our own little symbol of that with this craft. So what you'll find is a red piece of paper that's gonna be our candlestick. And you should also find a gold piece of paper in there. So that is going to be your candle flame, okay? So I tried to cut out a little candle and gave each of you one of these. If you wanna go ahead and give me, if you don't like the shape that I made, I put another, um, just a plain gold square in there. You can cut your own. So. You can use the one that I put in there, or you can go ahead and give it a try if you want to do a different um, shape for your flame. But this is mine. 
So what we're gonna do here, have some glue, but you can also use tape, is just put a dab of glue on top and put your candle, your flame, I should say. So now we've got a candle stick and a flame attached. And now this is what I was talking about with the tape. So a nice thing about having tape and glue is that you can use a small piece of tape to reinforce the glue. Because sometimes glue takes a while to dry, doesn't always really stick perfectly. So I'm just gonna take a piece of tape and stick it on the back of it. All right, so we've got our candle. Okay, so I've got a little piece sticking out here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this the bottom part where I put my candle. Hmm, actually, actually, I think I have a nice space right here. So I'm gonna put my candle there. So what I want you to do is take the bottom of your candle and fold it a little bit, okay? So I just fold it a little piece like that. That's where you're gonna put your glue. If you have glue, you can use a glue stick as well. So I put a little glue on the bottom and then a little glue on top. And if you remember when we used to meet together, I would always say a little bit of glue goes a long way, right? <laughs> you don't have to use too much. All right, and then since you have this little flap, you're gonna tuck it under like that. So I have a piece going under. Ooh, look at our flame. Okay, and then I've got a little piece here on the back so I can really stick it to that paper plate. So let that dry a little bit. All right, now while we let our candles dry a little bit, you will see that you have, yours are bigger than mine. These are just the scraps I have left over. Uh, you have some green paper. And what you can do with this paper is make your own little leaf um, or like Christmas leaf. So you can try to make a fancy one. <laughs> I'm just gonna do what looks like a regular leaf. So I'm just gonna trace the shape that I want for my leaf using my pencil. And I'm gonna make three leaves. Just tracing, and then one more. Okay. Then you're gonna go ahead and cut them out. One. Two. And three. Okay. So we've got our three little leaves. And then to make it look real festive, we're gonna put a little berry on there. So you should also have a small piece of red paper. What I want you to do with this is just draw a circle on it. And then cut it out. A little red circle. This is gonna be our berry to make our leaves look more festive for Christmas. Okay, so I've got my leaf. My little white paper here, so you can see better. Okay, so I got my three leaves. I'm gonna arrange them so that I have one on the side, one in the middle, and one on the other side. Can you see that? And then I'm gonna add my little red berry. Okay, so I found the best way to do this is take your first leaf, put a little glue. Add your second leaf on top. Then add a little more glue. Add your third leaf on top of that. And then right on top. Add our berry. Mm 
There we go. We've got our little holiday leaves. It's maybe like a little piece of holly or something. Okay, let's give that a few moments to dry. And again, if you have tape, you're good to go. Yours is already dry. Uh, so now what we'll do is we'll add our little, I was gonna say string, not string. We're gonna use another pipe cleaner to make this something that we can actually hang. So what I'm gonna do, get it, put the candle there, find the top, go ahead and loop through. Okay, so you have a little hanging piece. And then when you take your two ends up here, just twist them. The more you twist, the more secure it'll be. And then I tuck it in so that sharp edge doesn't hurt anyone. And we've got sides to come together. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna add a little piece of tape here since we're moving quickly. If you're at home, you can take some breaks, make sure your glue is nice and dry. I'm gonna just add a little tape. Now, this is my little secret trick. <laughs> so to make sure that your candle doesn't go like that too much, right, so it doesn't fall through, we're gonna use this to give the candle something to um, knock up against so that it doesn't go through, okay? So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna use tape so we can do it quickly. I'm gonna tape. A little festive holly right on there. Oops, you see, just tape it to the top. And now I'm going to find the little tip of my candle and put a little glue or tape right there so that your candle doesn't fall through. Okay, so it just keeps it upright so I don't have to worry about that candle slouching. I'm just going to put a little tape. Make that stick. Oops. <laughs> there we go. And you can adjust where your top piece hangs. All right, it's coming together. <laughs> Move this out of the way. So now, if you've been watching Reverend Christine on Sundays on Facebook or someone in your house, your family, your parents, grandma, aunt, whoever has been watching, you know that we've been doing Advent since the Christmas season started. So we have these words, faith, peace, love, and joy, right? And these are words that you may hear a lot during Christmas time. So I thought it'd be great to add these words that we've been focusing on for Advent to our craft. So it can kind of remind us about the reason for the season, right? So we've got a Christ candle in the middle. We've got our words that we've been focusing on for Advent leading up to Christmas. And this is really a great craft to have for Christmas, but also for the new year. So as we're getting ready to go into a brand new year, these are the words or the things that we wanna bring into the new year with us. So again, I'm going to use some tape so I can go quickly, but if you have glue, you can take your time a little more. And this is a great conversation starter as well. So after you do your craft, Maybe you go and talk to the people in your house about these words. What do they mean to them? Are they important? Why do we think of these words during this season? So it's a great way to start to have some interesting holiday combos. Maybe something you chat about over dinner, when you first wake up in the morning, whatever works. So I'm just taping these all around my wreath that they're a reminder of what we're focusing on at Unity for the season. All right, so let's see, it's coming together. 
I like when the light hits the candle. <laughs> all right, so we've got our words for Advent all around. We've got our Christ candle in the middle, knowing that light of God inside of all of us and how we want to continue to have faith, bring peace into the world, have peace in ourselves, uh, love, always giving and spreading love and joy. Okay, so the last little fun thing that you'll find in there, you'll have four. I only have three because I ran out. Uh, but you have four little stickers. And I'm thinking of these as kind of like ornaments, right? So you can just take these and put them all around your wreath. And it's up to you. You can put them wherever you want. So you got to think you all have a reindeer as well. So you've got a Christmas tree, a little snowman, a little snow lady, and a little snowflake. Put that on the bottom of my candle. Okay. And there it is, our finished product. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed that craft. Remember, there are a few of these, quite a few of these, uh, at Unity Church. So you can go ahead and uh, pick them up, hopefully soon, but you can get them now all the way through to the new year while they last. Um, but it, uh, I don't think they'll run out, but let's say they do run out, uh, a plate, a paper plate, you can decorate with some um, crayons markers at home, you can make your own. So I hope you all give this a try. If you do, please take a picture and maybe send it to the church email. I'd love to see how yours come out. And I hope you can use them, hang them in your house. Maybe it'll become a holiday uh, ornament or wreath that you use every year. So thanks for joining me and remembering the reason for the season. I hope you enjoy your craft and I'll see you next time. Bye.